Hello, everybody. I'm sorry to inform you that I have had to cancel uh, the trips to New York and London to uh, the planned reception when my book, written by John Lugegaard, my friend, was sh should be published. I have been suffering from uh, pneumonia, which might be fatal for a man at my age. But nevertheless, I am, I am recurring. But I am sorry that I could not participate. Thank you very much. Welcome. At, as you could see before, Kurt Westergaard is old, sick and tired, and he is sorry that he couldn't come to the events of the Soho House in London and New York. We were invited to launch the recently released English version of Kurt Westergaard's autobiography, Man Based Ryan, in English entitled The Man Behind the Mohammed Katoon. In order to reach the last an audience as possible, we have chosen to distribute the book via Amazon.com and Lulu.com, where it can be purchased worldwide as a printed book and as an e-book. I received the first request in May, but due to the European Soccer Championship, the Olympic Games in London and Tour de France, we consulted the Danish Security and Intelligence Service and chose to postpone the event to November. The plan was to be in London the 19th and then proceed directly to New York. Invitations were sent out, the interest gained momentum, and it turned out that the venue selected was too small, so we were offered larger premises. In September, Kurt Westergaard was hospitalized with a double funumia, but we thought that he would recover in time for the book launches. However, complications ensured and his stay in hospital was prolonged. Since his strength did uh, so waited, we decided to cancel the, the New York event and only make a short appearances in London going there and back in one day. When Kurt Westergaard eventually returned from hospital, his health has had uh, deteriorated to the extent that he has to use a walking frame, having to learn to walk again step by step. He is now too weak to travel, and since there are no signs that his condition is improving, I felt that postponing the book launch to February or March next year would not be a solution. However, due to the present situation, we had to change our plans and cancel the event. On the other hand, a Danish, security, a Danish Minister of Foreign Affairs, as well as a Danish Security and Intelligence Services, Probably brief a sign of relief after a cancellation of the trip, promoting the English version of the book. Of the 82 drawings in the book, the Danish Security and Intelligence Service, as well as the Danish Ministry of Foreign Affairs, fear that at least seven might generate renewed unrest among extremist, extremist Muslims. Kurt Westergaard's cartoon is now an important icon of Danish history. And in the future, I'll be, it will be preserved as the most significant cause of the Muhammad crisis. The cartoon is included in the book because it has also come to symbolize Kurt Westergaard and his battle for freedom of speech. A battle which he has resonated across the globe and brought him recognition and two prestigious prizes in Germany in 2010. When Kurt Westergaard drew the cartoon, he was 70 years old, an age where most people have long since retired. The book is not an analysis of the Mohammed cartoon crisis. It tells the story of the 
preceding years. But naturally, there is also a focus on the consequences the cartoon has been for Kurt Westergaard, who will be surrounded by guards for the rest of his life.